Greetings family, this is Bomani Tayemba and we are at the African Holocaust Dungeons, Cape Coast. I've been coming here for so many years, well over a decade. And uh, it never gets um, old as far as this, us coming to a reconnection point like this and realizing that you know, the history of the past and what's going on in the future is all connected to where when we talk about these white devils, we're dead serious, you know? From the female dungeons to the male dungeons, and all the psychological stuff that they use today. I got my good brother here. You know, we were, we were, talk, we were actually talking about a condemned cell earlier. Right. And you know, it's like, what type of mindset of people would just create something like a condemned cell? You lock someone in for several days, no food, no air, no water. That's right, I mean, you know, basically, we just saw the inhumanity of, you know, the devil towards a god. So, you know, we know that they're two-legged dogs. We know that we need more than just reparations. We need retributions. We need revenge. We're going to get even for the ancestors, straight up. Yeah, it's kind of like on the land yesterday, uh, you know, the blood sacrifice was made with the animal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. So, so that's, uh, so those are the significance of uh, the situation, family. And so uh, it's one of those hot days, and because of that crazy Rona 19, you know, like, you can't be walking around with a mask on a hot day. That's right. In a place like this, you're going to pass out and collapse. So, you know, we made sure people have water, but family, um, you know, this is us persevering through the drama and not letting any of these people with their foolishness stop us from connecting and reconnecting to Africa and, and things. So the reconnection um, for us to build in the future is also to come here. I know sometimes uh, you know, we may feel a certain way about coming to a circle, place, a museum, but all the tours I do, that's just a mandatory part of it. We don't force anyone to do it, but you're going to get a whole lot more when you, you know, spend your time, get up in the morning and, you know, and get out there and educate yourself and then share the information. Uh, brother, uh, anything else you want to share? Yeah, also? just real quick, you know, I think we got to understand that this is a spiritual journey. So a lot of people as Muslims, they practice Hajj, they go to Mecca at least one time in their lifetime. And so for those folks who don't want to come live here, you got to go and come back. This is your Hajj. This is your personal spiritual journey back to the homeland. And I suggest, this is just my suggestion, you go with this brother. Brother Bomani's been coming here for over 14 years. Am I correct, brother? Yes, that's correct. 2006 to so, 2020. And when you come with him, you're going to get A1 service. You're going to get a spiritual awakening. And, you know, the brother is there with you on the trip. So he's always available. Family, Africa for the Africans, brother Bomani. Let's do it. There you go. Just in our Kobler. Come on, Kobler. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Kobler. Kobler. Yeah, yeah. I, I was talking about 2006. Yeah. This is my brother right here from 2006, Kobler. Yeah. Yeah, it's been like 14 years now. And we've been through thick and thin together. It's been great working with him. Very nice brother. I've been through so many black organizations, but this is the most practical, both theory and practical uh, experience you could ever have in, in case of like, um, expanding your consciousness. That's right. You can read your books at home, but coming to the spot to see it for yourself, experience. That's you right. experiencing it yourself, reading it in a book, but coming to see it, experience it, will really enhance your consciousness. So, you know, Africa must unite home and abroad. Let's keep it strong. There you go, family. And so, family, um, join any of our journey of a lifetime by visiting our website at africaforthafricans.org. You want to know about tours and investment, including our Black Star Pan African community. Uh, visit our website, click on the link, check it out, read the details and be clear because information is powerful and what we do is not a business where we can just give you a flyer and everything is clear. You have to read, you have to be clear, we have conference calls, we have a whole lot going on. Once you be prepared for the experience because once you get here and experience the experience, you're going to be able to just really use it to where you know, you're clear on it and then you have a whole lot of us already here to connect with, to build. So family, it's all about black power nation building. Let's keep it strong.